Hey, welcome back to another Hexagon 2.5 video tutorial. If you remember in the last tutorial where I talked about uh, uh, changing your pivot point, we had uh, this shampoo bottle image uh, uh, placed on our uh, front grid. I'm in the uh, front orthographic view and what I'm going to do is uh, show you how to use the Gordon surface tool and the Gordon surface tool can be found under the surface modeling tab uh, I'm not real sure why it's under the surface modeling tab because it's kind of a well I guess it could be because it, you do build a surface but uh, use lines or curves uh, I believe in other applications it's called a spline uh, so what we're going to do basically is build a cage and then we're going to uh, create a surface from that cage. So the first thing we're going to do here under the lines modeling tab is we're going to just choose a polyline. <coughs> Pardon me. We could uh, use uh, an interpolated curve, a curve, or a Beezer curve, but uh, I like to keep it simple. So uh, we're going to just go ahead and use a polyline. And now we're going to click up the top. And then we'll click down at the bottom. And then we'll hit enter. Okay, and now we're going to go to uh, edge selection and we'll just select our edge there and then we'll uh, click tessellate line and uh, I just use the uh, the space bar to hide my manipulator if you didn't know that all you had to do is tap your space bar if it's in the way which it was uh, now I'm gonna hit control A to select uh, all the edges and I'm going to tessellate that again, and I'm going to control A again, and tessellate that uh, line again. And now if you can see that, hopefully, uh, we have uh, several vertices along our curve here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag select, and I'm going to start to pull those points over to the edge and I'll just pull them over until the first one gets there and then I'll reselect uh, a couple less and then I'll pull them over till the the first one touches <clears throat> and then I'll grab some more and pull them on over and then grab this one and pull it on over and what we've done is uh, built our profile for this side of the bottle um, that doesn't match exactly <clears throat> and for uh, demonstration purposes it uh, really is not necessary uh, so now what we need to do <clears throat> is go back into object selection and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go control C and control V to copy and paste that curve and then we'll just drag it over and as you can see we still have uh, the that curve is still the same shape as our original one uh, but what I'm gonna do <clears throat> while I have that curve selected and we're in object selection mode I'm gonna go right over here to the properties panel and I'm gonna go down to the size and I'm, and I'm gonna highlight the size in the uh, X direction and I'm just going to enter a zero and then hit enter. And as you can see, that uh, straightened out our line. Now we have a completely straight line. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to reset my pivot point. So in your context menu up top, I'm going to set pivot point. I'm going to click on this bottom point here. And then I'm going to go over here to the properties panel and in the uh, Y direction I'm just going to scroll down just a little bit. And what that did is uh, 
let me zoom in here so you can see that if you'll watch this point right here I'm just gonna scroll down to look, get it all somewhere right about there okay now I'm gonna reset my pivot point so it goes back to the center of our curve there <clears throat> now we've uh, built our two profile curves and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to circle from center and I'm going to go down to the third icon there and as you can see um, it has two points on it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my shift I'm going to snap it to this point and then I'm going to snap it to the other side to that point and the number of points we need is about 10 and we're going to validate that and we'll just start to rotate it and when you rotate it if you'll after you've started the rotation if you'll just uh, hold your shift key um, it will snap and uh, in incrementally rotate incrementally uh, and then I'm going to scale that just a bit in the Z direction and that looks good enough I'm going to go to my front view <clears throat> make sure you're still in uh, the object mode and we're going to copy and paste that curve control C and control V and then we're just going to bring it down and just kind of line it up here and we'll scale it out in the X direction till it's kind of meets up with our the points of our profile file curve there <clears throat> okay so now we need to go to the surface modeling tab and your one two three four five the sixth icon over is the Gordon surface tool and we're just going to activate that and uh, the first thing we need to do is choose our profile curves and we'll go click there and there and as you can see they turn red and then I can either hit apply or I can hit uh, my enter key and I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply and then we need to choose our caps or in caps or uh, in curves so um, choose this one it turns green choose the bottom one turns green and then we can hit apply uh, I was in the wireframe mode I need to be in uh, smooth and as you can see what well, what we've done there is just created a uh, a surface from those curves I'm gonna open up my dynamic geometry here and let's show show you something else that you can do okay <clears throat> now if you'll notice we have form 2 and uh, in the drop down tree here we have curve 2 curve 2 curve 3 curve 3 um, we have two twos because of course we uh, copied the first one so it's still named that uh, we could have renamed them but I didn't think it was necessary now if you will click on the uh, one of those curves curve control in uh, in our little drop down menu here you can uh, select points on that control curve or you can select uh, uh, edges and you can just go in there and select that and then you can edit your your uh, object there and it does kind of it kind of uses a soft selection if you if you can see there uh, when I pull that out it uh, pulls more than just that vertice uh, if I wanted to uh, if I grab the bottom control curve here I could scale it out and and change the size of our um, object here So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and click the little lightning bolt here to collapse that 
geometry. Pull our uh, dynamic panel right back down there. Well, that pretty much is uh, how how you use the Gordon surface tool, or uh, I guess you could say we just modeled with splines or curves. Um, not sure what the next tutorial is going to be. I really need to uh, finish up the house modeling tutorial. Maybe I'll do that sometime this week. Um, but hope uh, this gives you another tool to work with. Oh, let me say this also too on our profile curves. We could have used uh, more than uh, one curve uh, to uh, create a little bit more complex shape. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this tutorial, and thank you for watching. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, or leave a comment, or do both. We'll see ya.